welcome back everybody to be playing some red light green light so let's get to it all right so i believe this is like the first squid game related roblox game i played um so yeah, this 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 was the first one i ever played not the squid game that has like you know 30k players right now this one has 5k players i'm not gonna play that squid game because i'm kind of getting tired of it i want to experience a new squid game I feel like this one's a lot better. I feel like this is like not getting enough um, uh, the recognition. And the reason why is because I, this is 100% more well designed. I can tell you that for sure. The other game is so, so poorly designed. Like it's, it functions, it's still very good. It's just, I feel like this is way, way better. And yeah, and I feel like this is way better. The reason why I think the other version is more popular is because more creators play that version. Like, look at this. We're literally waking up from the bed. Like, that's crazy. And this is cool. We wake up from the bed and we go to the game. That, that's really sick. Even tells us, like, the prize you're going to get. It's very cool. So the reason why I think the other Squid Game um, is more popular because it was... It was more popular because a lot of creators were playing it. Like, a lot of people who never played Roblox before, and then, like, they heard of this Squid Game Roblox craze, they played that Squid Game instead of this one. And this one, I could tell you for a fact, is my favorite uh, Squid Game re creation. Or a Squid Game-inspired game. It's cool, you just open to this door. Gotta wait for a second, though. There's a timer. So yeah, I like this good game a lot. One thing I would change is like the time it takes for you to get in the game. It's not like 40 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. I feel like that would be more faster, more efficient. The thing is, even if you like don't go to like that whole entire parkour, parkour race or whatever, it just still teleports you in. So the cool thing about this is that it doesn't have you know as much glitches, Today, glitches as the other one. Life. When it says green light, you can walk. Because when the other squid game, light, there's like this glitch where once you finish, if you can literally you will be eliminated. just run back and you just push everyone who hasn't finished. And it takes like forever. And this is three minutes. I mean, the one thing that is bad is like they don't have the pressing um, feature. Alright, come on. Oh, uh, do not jump. Like, the, the one piece of advice I would give, like, a person when playing Red Light, Green Light in this Squid Game is to never jump. Because if you jump right here, right, it still counts as a movement, even if you're standing still. Oop, I'm getting a call. Bang. Easy as that. And if you, even if you run back out, and, like, if you die on purpose... You, you still die. Like, you don't have invincibility. You're gonna have to stay right at this line. And it does get, like, this cool flash. And it really helps with the action time. That was a really good red light, green light. See, this person was literally finished, right? He ran back outside and went back in. That is why there's no fooling around when you play this squid game. Also, the cookie cutting one is really, really hard in my opinion. Like, this game is very, very strict on the cookie cutting. The other game, you could just instantly finish in two seconds. Like, it is no problem at all. Because the one I, like, struggled at a lot was the cookie cutting one. It was crazy. Because it's really, really, like, intense. It's not as lenient as the other one. The other one, I literally, it's, first of all, it's a smaller shape, and it takes me two seconds to finish. I'm literally, like, doing it at the speed of light. This one, you actually had to take time, because it's so much bigger, the tracing is so much harder, it's just crazy. Alright, so we're at this place. And I also like this map area. It looks super sick. It looks like the actual Squid Game show. 
Yeah, everyone wants a triangle. Umbrellas spawn way more often than this one, too. I really want to get a triangle. The umbrella is a pain. Please don't give me the umbrella. I swear. What? How am I standing on top of him? I guess. Finish your cookie with an assignment to continue. Oh, yes, I get a triangle. Okay. Do this fast and quickly. Let's go. Easy. All right, let's see what this guy got. Oh, unfortunate. I'm telling you, this is really, really strict on it. Like, if you just go out of the edges for one second, you're done. You're literally done. Because, like, the difference between this cookie cutting and, like, the other game's cookie cutting is that this, this cookie cutting thing, the lines are so small. And, like, if you make the smallest mistake, it counts as a crack. Literally, I'm tracing over the cookie and I'm not getting cracks in the other game. That's how easy it is. And the outlines are so much bigger, I am telling you. I'm at the top. Ooh, I'm, ooh I was about to fall. Oh! What is this? Whoa, what? Is this is the bathroom? It is the bathroom. Yeah, this is a really cool feature. I like this. Sink, mirror. I can't even see myself. We could have a lights out. The prize pool is getting so much larger. Make your way to the third game. Don't mind if I do. I'm pretty sure the third game is the... I don't know. The, if it's more accurate, it should be the tug of war. Okay, it is the tug of war. We're even in like this area. This looks super sick too. And also, the Marvel game is actually so much better too. It is so much more accurate to the actual show than the other game. Let's go, I joined the other team. <laughs> Everyone joined team two. And this one isn't, you can't use like an auto clicker to cheese this. You had to click on like. We gotta keep clicking at the top. Oh, you're supposed to click on the bar. I wasn't even clicking on the bar. Alright, guys, that's today. Thanks for watching and bye.